Good evening, I'm Lou Goldstein and welcome to another edition of Focus On. Tonight our focus is on tribute bands. And with me tonight, I'm very lucky to have uh, two members of the British Invasion Tribute, uh, Robert Murdoch and Lee Scott Howard. Thank you very much for coming on the show. Thank, Thank you, Lou. So I think the first thing I want to ask, basically, is, you know, why are audiences nostalgic about the past, and uh, especially the musical past, and especially the uh, 1960s? Well, we have found that uh, audiences that come to see our show um, go back in time. And this is what they've actually said to us. You brought me back to my teen years or my childhood, whatever the case may be. And you made me remember a time in my life when things were simpler. And I, this is the music I grew up on. It becomes a very emotional thing for people. And uh, of course, we perform the songs just like the record. So people identify immediately with the song. And I remember that song when it was first played. It was my first date with my wife, or whatever the case may be. So. Uh, we really connect on an emotional level. Although I play bass and I'm the McCartney of the group, we don't do just the Beatles, by mm -hmm. the way, we play right. all the groups, but my voice is more like John and his voice as the guitar player is more like Paul. So That's he's got the higher voice, yeah. I have the lower register voice, so, right. uh, it, which complements the group a lot better because we can go right. in all kinds of directions. There are the other two fellows in the band too. They sing lead, so we have much diversity yeah. with, with our vocals. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, it's really nice that we're able to match up a song from the time period with a person who most closely sounds like it. And uh, that's another part of the nostalgia element of our show, is that when you recreate the music and it sounds like it did back in the day, and you have those signature parts that people identify with, right. they really connect. And you'd be surprised, the legion of diehard British Invasion and American 60s music fans that will come up, uh, up to us after a show and say, I heard that part, I'm so glad that you do that because there are many bands we've seen that don't necessarily do it or maybe do it their own way and it kind of hit me in a different way than others I've seen before. And that means a lot to us when we can evoke an emotion in what we do because really that's what the original artist did too. Uh, we, we've seen that people come up and, and say, I closed my eyes and I thought I was listening to the record and you could see tears welling up in their eyes. It meant that much to them. When you're playing before an audience, you know, and you're looking out from the stage, you know, uh, how, how does it feel when you're looking at people and they're, you know, they're excited, they're dancing, or they're having a reaction, a positive reaction, let's put it that, as opposed to not having a reaction, and has, how does it make you feel? And also, uh, have you had any unusual experiences with audiences, you know, during any of your performances? Really the barometer of your success is when the audience does react, like you say. Yeah. And I get the biggest charge when people come up to us afterwards and yeah. say, you guys look like you were having the time of your lives. And I yeah. shot from the heart one day and I said, well, you know what? I don't know who's having more fun, you or us. I had one gentleman come up to me. He must have been 75 or 80 and he asked for my autograph. Okay. And he, he hugged me and was crying. I didn't know how to handle it. I would just, <laughs> it was, it's, yeah. but it, it felt, it was unusual, but it felt great. Maybe you could just tell us a little bit more about the other members of the band and who's in the band, you know? So. Well, I'll tell you a little bit about our keyboard player, and Lee can maybe expound on, okay. on our drummer. Our keyboard player, John, uh, we've been with him now, I think it's about eight years. Uh, he also plays guitar. Okay. And on cases where there's songs, there's no keyboards, it's just, a lot of two guitars because we try to stick to the original artists. We don't come out with 10, 12, 15 musicians on stage. We stick to what the original bands did, which was four and five piece groups. Our drummer, Jeff Ally, yeah. is uh, an astonishing guy to say the least on a number of levels. Uh, first, uh, he was, we, uh, we affectionately talk to him uh, and, and say that he was born in the wrong decade. He's a little bit younger than we are mm -hmm. and in spite of that, he is just so steeped in 60s music. He is a Beach Boys fanatic, a Beatles fanatic, a Who fanatic. He loves all these bands, and, and we call him our Ringo. And I know a lot of the music that you, uh, that you have uh, uh, perform is not just uh, a Beatles tribute, but you also have the classic rock artists, you know, like from 65 to 69, and also, you know, you have the music tribute to the British Invasion, you know, years around 64 to 67 or so. And I think those three stages, plus the, the Beatles tribute, set you apart from a lot of the bands which just focus in on one thing. We do three, yeah. three shows in one. Right. Uh, first show, you'll see a British invasion from all the groups, the Zombies, the Hermits, Hermits, uh, uh, mm -hmm. iconic groups such as um, 
um, uh, long cool woman. Uh, Hollies. The Hollies. Hollies yeah. uh, Dave Clark Five. Right. We do all of these groups. Then we'll we'll come back out, change costumes. Then we do the American Response, uh, as I mentioned. You know, the monkeys, Simon and Garfunkel, um, Steppenwolf. Um, I mean, the list goes on. Oh, Creedence. Creedence, mm -hmm. uh, and, yeah. then, and then we'll roll into a tribute to the Beatles at the end. So right. it's three shows in one. And that tribute is to the Beatles is like usually side B of Abbey Road, note right. for note, or Sgt. Pepper medley. Yeah. And okay. we, we decided to do a show like we do. It's referred to as a genre tribute right. rather than a band tribute. And our philosophy is we love this music. We love performing it, and we want to bring as many people as we can along for the ride. Well, Robert, Lee, thanks for coming on the show Thank today. Thank you so much for having us. It's great Appreciate you guys it. dropped by. I'm Lou Goldstein. That's our show for tonight. I'm Focus On. Have a great night. Time